All right, so now we're best character. We have a happy little gun that launches to shoot bones. It it unconsumes bone, places bone at high velocity in enemy's face because it's a bullet. And everything is a face in this game. It's a flag, a weird flag. It's uh, it's kind of like a wand because supposedly it's my hand. So it's just kind of like my whole arm is the wand. I know, it's adorable. Look at him, like, munch. Wait, to reload, it shoots out some smoke. It's a, a smoke summoning spell. ends up doing junk run again. Like I didn't mean to that other time. I just ended up with like 19 junk. And no junkin. No sun. I wanted a sun. Can't use that. got grenaded. What the heck? Eden, thank you for the five gifted subs. Thank you so very much for the generosity towards the community. Hitting up a bunch of friends with some fancy subs. Thank you. And that's your first five, too. Wild. Thanks a bunch. Ooh, a key. I dedicate that key to you. You've influenced my RNG in the best way. We actually get to open a chest on this floor. So I guess honestly, opening a chest on this floor or not opening a chest on this floor as the robot is not really the worst thing. This floor has the highest likelihood of having bad chests. And, uh, you know, junk. Junk is some of that good stuff. Secret room could be in there, but I don't have a gun to check with. This room is full of chandeliers. I think they would learn what a hazard chandeliers are. That could also be a secret room, and it's really hard for me to figure it out. Again, with no gun. Well, this is a mimic. Would you like to... Would you like to join the rest of us out here? Well, he showed me the secret room. It has three brown chests in it. How does this keep happening? Are they all gonna have the freaking finish gun in them? Yeah, they are. All right, I mean, that one's not. Uh, I hate this glitch sometimes. Sometimes this game. Okay, just a second. Just a second. Uh, can he make it? Yes, he can.
So I get to sell two finished guns this floor, but I'm gonna fight the boss with it first because I may as well. I mean, honestly, I'm pretty hyped that I get, like, you know, 100 casings for free. All I have to do is fight this boss with the finished gun with the Lord of the Jam. Easy. It gave me a 50 as well. <laughs> All right, so uh, buy the armor. Eh, I don't really care about the blanks. At the same time, I could just buy the blanks because I have so many. Thanks, buddy. I have so many monies. And I have five keys, so I may as well open this. Uh, that was a gun, so this is a non-gun. That's pretty good, right? Okay, that's a little less useful than I hoped. <laughs> We're with 50. Oh, I remember with 60. Good times, good times. Honestly, rolling reload, maybe I'll get a good single shot that I'll care about later, so I'll, I'll leave it for now. How come you, like, always have that Reaper following you? Well, you see, that's what happens when you're a bad boy. And you, Mopey, must have just been a good boy. No, so to actually explain the mechanic, uh, some items in this game have curse. Uh, you didn't have all those enemies that are just, like, fully red either. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, wow. Secret room. Neat. Uh, so, some items have curse. And, uh, the higher your curse, you get different punishments. Wow! I get the owl! I should not have talked to him yet, but it's fine in this case. Anyway, uh, the higher your curse, the more of those red enemies you see. And if you get over ten, you get that... Uh, that reaper following you who really just wants to mess up your day uh, Yeah, I don't like this So I do a thing in my runs where I start with nine uh, There's an there's a shrine at the very start of the run where if you've beaten the game with that character you get to Use it and it gives you nine curse right away <laughs> So basically, I'm just like playing on hard mode. So if I pick up anything that has curse, that dude will follow me around. And he doesn't have a hitbox, so you can't do anything about him except just dodge him. But he also doesn't do contact damage, which is nice. But basically, I'm just playing in a mode where I can't really take... I just took two damage for that. I can't really take cursed items. Back at base health. It's fine, because I'm loaded. I'll just buy armor. Hopefully. Yeah, it's true. Most cursed items are pretty good. So the fact that I can't take them, because they're not good enough to be worth taking the risk of that guy following me around, kind of sucks. But some of them are so good that I'll take them anyway. This, yeah, I was going to say, definitely has the shop in it. All right, well. I could buy both of these because I'm loaded and turn them into uh, another finished gun. Just because I want to see if it'll do it. Yeah, there are lots of passive items that have curse. You got, like, scouter, katana bullets, or whatever they're called. That is not what I was hoping for. Uh, curse bullets. There's some cursed use items like the big boy 
and the uh, Elder Blank. There, there's every every tier has cursed items, or every well every tier yes, but also every um type of item. Holy Grail, yeah. Who knows what he's about? Curse, right there. Not worth picking up though. Most definitely not. Yeah, Lament is a cursed use item. And everything it drops gives you curse. Help me. I mean, I could use the... I forgot what the gun's even called. Laser Lotus. I thought it had Lotus in it. There are like two things that lower your curse as well. Uh, there's the fountain where you can pay uh, five casings per curse it removes. Up to 13, I think, is how many it'll remove. If you have more than that, it won't remove any. Maybe it's 12. And then, yeah, the D20 shrine, which can uncurse you completely, I think. Cleansed is minus 10. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. say enemy, but you're talking about a boss. I was like, what enemy could possibly take 2,000 bones to kill? And I was like, oh, you're talking about, like, jammed advanced dragon or whatever. What, uh, what did I get from the other one? Gun. Zombie bullets is okay, except that I'm not using anything that actually consumes ammo yet. When I get to that point, I'll be pretty excited, I guess. Uh, have I made a loop yet? I think these might connect. Nope. I kind of want to 
go in there. I mean, it has armor and a blank. And I can hopefully get junk. 5% damage. I would say that was worth a key, honestly. Uh, the status of that quote is I am currently still not a bus. I don't think Junkin gives me the 5% damage, but I think I say that every time, and I might be wrong every time. Lies does, but I, I think Junkin doesn't. And I also think that Gold Junk might not, but that's that one I don't remember. Like, that one I don't have any inkling of whether or not. Gold junk does. Thinking about that time I got three gold junk in one run. Incredible. Okay, so semi auto is a little bit faster. But I'm not sure that really matters as far as my DPS is concerned. Yep, gold junk is 500 monies. And I got three of them in one run. I'm glad the only time I got the uh, gold junk junk in synergy was on a run where I also got to clone it with the mimic friend. Okay, that's a great boss killer. I'm gonna use the uh, Laser Lotus to clear the floor then next floor for as long as I can. Rainbow chests, if they existed, wouldn't cost keys. Uh, they uh, are freebies. That's right. I mean, okay, so the Stinger would be stopped up by DPS cap, though. If I were constantly rolling to fill it. But I could do it. It is an option. Uh, we should start... If we were to be doing the prediction, we should have started it at the start of, um, Oubliette. Because we want it to be locked in by the time I'm on this floor where I could actually lose the, uh, crest. like it. Lucky that I was on a good cycle for that. Okay, I'm not going to go through that room. I think that the Will the Rat drop an S tier is a good one. Like, Will Punch Out drop an S tier. Okay, first order of business, check this. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Will Rat drop another Gundromeda? I could get Reload Stone, theoretically. Money now is a little bit of a problem, but, like, I just got very good items. So let's just hope... I'm gonna keep using this gun. <laughs> let's just hope I get enough money to buy the rat key. Well, I already did the thing, so it's fine. Just get another 50? Yeah, I mean, I would like to do that. That would be great. 
I'll just farm 50s here. Maybe I'll get another secret room with uh, three brown chests, and they'll all have the same contents because of that being how it seems to work. All right, well, I know I have keys. Thank you. Oh, could get the riding coil. That would be the synergy, right? Uh, that's a pretty safe uh, offer to make, Toast Ghost, since you'll never have to give me any bits. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> that's so dumb. because I have cheaper shops. Laser Lotus is super good. Oh, but now it's super empty. So sad. How would I have found rainbow chests? They don't exist. Uh... That was this. This is a gun. Good gun. Blue chest guns, objectively always better than green chest guns. No. Objectively, most of the time, better than green chest guns, though. All right, map complete. We get to go here later. Honestly, this seems like a better call. I just, I, I'm, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> the bullet was too slow. Ew. Is there like a muncher on this floor? Cause that'd be great. You're <laughs> sure not. So I have four blanks by default. Well, I spent all of my money. I uh, no longer have the excellent start that I got to start with, but I got to buy a lot because of it. <laughs> RPG, this weapon sucks. I agree. Okay, so the synergy chest this floor is gonna give me the laser sight is what you're saying. The synergy for the laser lotus with the laser sight is super good, so I would be very into that. Uh, Stinger, sure, homing school, and um, RPG, not useful. RPG is just bad no matter what. Oh my goodness, that bullet. Leave me alone! Maybe I'll get a Zorgun this floor too. And then I'll get the 
it'll still give me uh, ready for it to give me the chamber gun you know I'm betting chamber gun except I do only have one master round I have three things that have that synergy Thank you for not requiring keep. Unity! Oh my goodness. Alright, well, we're never not, like, getting a gun again. Hey, you know what? I appreciate that. <laughs> I wanted that. I had one bullet left. But yes, now the Laser Lotus has eternal use. Drill? Okay, so I don't need to sell that stuff. I guess I also want to keep all of my non-guns. RPG even has use now. The RPG is literally useful now. I'll probably... Yeah, I may as well come back for the drill, because then I can Prime Squad. It, it adds to the squad. I don't know where the dude is. Got him. Drill is a risk, though. You have to actually, like, do combat. It's not like I'm gonna not have enough keys. I don't have chest friendship at the moment, and I don't get it very frequently. The secret ingredient is crime. <laughs> Buddy. Stop rolling. If my roll were that, like, full of iframes, I might use it too. If only I could flip tables for blanks. I want table tech blanks. And you can't stop me. I have the gold amulet and Chad's amulet. But mostly the gold amulet. That's the good stuff. Thank you. Well. Here's my chamber gun. Frick! I got junk. You can't shoot a synergy chest. That's illegal. But. Boy, do I wish I had. It's okay. This is going to be the synergy chest. gives me the laser pointer. I shouldn't have rolled straight. I was just like, oh, I'll just save my position. No. like such a dangerous way to play. Rolling is such a bad option. 
What chamber has the hardest avoidance rooms? Uh, oh, that's very nice. Thank you. Uh, Oubliette. Forge is pretty hard, too, sometimes. There are some in the forge that I literally never do. <laughs> But I think Oubliette's harder. What synergy did I even get for this? Is it the poison one? Or what? Sure. Space friend buff? Oh yeah, look at him, he's blue. Nifty. The one really long vertical one in the forge. Like, there are a lot of safe spots, though. That's the thing. Like, I get what you're saying. But you can take a break in there. The ones in the oubliette have, like, moving pieces. Where you literally can't just, like, pause. You know? I think there's a lot to be said for being able to just take a little break. I can't turn into this guy yet. Do that at the end of the floor, but rat floor is somewhere. Got it. I think that it's pretty often that you can skip them in the oubliette, but it's also pretty often that you can skip them in the forge, honestly. I think there's also just something to be said for the fact that chances are you have more items to help you deal with them by the time that you're at the forge. I want guns, since they give me damage ups from Unity. Dude, it just keeps shooting lasers. My space friend is so extremely space friend right now. has got to be coming up soon, I guess. Uh, Space Friend most likely is affected by Unity, actually. Okay, please, please give me turtle problems. This is the run where I want that a lot. <laughs> this, this run is full of friendship.
Wow, the turtle was just like, I'm gonna go kill this other dude so he doesn't bother you later, and I want to say thank you. Sorry, there is no escape. like room cleaners that I want to use. I should use the pox cannon. I'm immune to poison now. I'm stupid as well. In case anyone was wondering. Yeah, this thing does a lot of damage. Fill that up. Though I'm pretty low on stinger, unfortunately. So, uh, pox cannon, ahoy. Still only have seven health. Not good. Hopefully the shop has some armor for me. Is the most important buy. Now jammed enemies are no problem. Oh, stinger refill. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna get to, no, I'm gonna get to buy the armor, but not the key, because they're both 30. Because I get 21 back from the guy. Maybe the boss drops a 50, though. You never know. I've made mistakes. <laughs> That's really uncool of you. I guess it is a good thing that I get to buy that armor because I'm dying to the Treadnought. Oh right, they do a ton of damage because silver bullets. I don't want that item. That's a disagreeable item. Okay, so first order business turning into Gunsling King. My health is really not looking good. I'm, I'm worried about this run. Well, I got the synergy, so that's more ammo for this. That's good. Uh, shock rounds will be good with this, the uh, balloon gun. Eh, we're cool. We're chilling. I also have the drill, so like getting a key is not the most important thing that could be happening to me. What are you, uh, what is in here that I don't care about? Oh yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Silver bullets no longer makes my damage against jammed enemies better than my damage against unjammed enemies. So not getting jammed bosses isn't like a big deal. It just means that when I do get jammed bosses, they're a little easier. Bloody nine mil is bad because it's worse uh, on single shot stuff. So like, it would ruin my stinger. Uh, proc chances in this game are based on, I think, either just mag or mag and fire rate. So the fact that the um, stinger and other single shot, single reload weapons have really high proc chances but are also really good means that with something like the bloody nine mil, you're actually losing out, at least as far as satisfaction. Uh, so it wouldn't activate very often on stuff like my, my starter pistol, my primary gun. I wouldn't activate a ton on this, but on the gun where I'm using it because I want to fire the single shot that does a specific thing, it's going to activate a lot more frequently. And like, yeah, it fires a crazy homing bullet that just bounces around a lot and actually just has a hard time hitting stuff. It's not, like, it's not... <laughs> not my favorite.
Ooh, that's so good. I really hope that the rat gives me a turtle problem. You know? That'd be wonderful. It's my dream. I just hate myself the most. My rolls are like really bad this run. We're not in good shape. Full on everything, yeah? Yeah, we're full on everything. And before it dies to rat. Stinger for the second phase. I roll. Well, I do roll a lot in this phase as well. Oh, but look at this damage output. I bet that my familiars can do this alone. Like, I didn't really add very much to this. Turtle Friend is very strong against jammed enemies. I think this would be the, the one-shot cop as well, if I, I got the cop. Okay, chances of getting hit five times on this phase are, like, pretty low. Jammed or not. Not impossible, though. I'll just use my blanks liberally. I have a lot of them. Like, I just won't deal with that attack, even though I haven't messed it up, like, a single time. Thank you, I'll get you, uh, in a second. BMC25. Thank you for the 26. Ah, Big C, gotcha. Thank you for the 26 months, my friend. I, I just, I already got a Huntsman this run. Uh, yeah, rooms can be hard when I have a lot of effects. Just to, like, see everything that's going on. Whoops, I messed up. That's not very much damage added to me, unfortunately. I don't like the third party controller either. I think it's a bad gun. So this is a run where I'm like kind of at risk. So it wouldn't be a bad consideration. Can I have Crime Squad? That's what I really want. 
Give me the shotgun boy and he will murder. Like he, he will he will win everything for me. Alright, so I'll come back for that once I've spent a little more ammo. Oh my goodness. Quex, thank you for the five gifted subs. So many people dropping five subs today. It's crazy. What is going on? Thank you very much for the generosity. Throwing out subs for five friends. Let my friends kill Lich 3. If it's jammed, at least. A little tougher if it's not jammed, but you know, we'll, we'll see what's up. I want whatever's in the chest. Oh. So metronome you can drop in order to switch weapons, if that's what you want to do. So if I run out of ammo, I just drop metronome, switch to whatever I'm gonna use, and then pick it back up. They didn't fix that. So the goal is now never get hit again. Not that that like wasn't the goal before or something. This guy. How much money do I have? 133, that's 92. So first I'm gonna drop that. Buy that, it's a big damage up. Switch back, pick it back up. I too miss the wood beam. Does metronome affect friends? Probably. Pick that up. Switch back to the laser lotus. Pick up the metronome. Yeah, it's making it very easy for me to continue using the laser lotus. Which I am not complaining about. Fat line is an interesting gun. It can do damage, like it does respectable damage. The Evolver again. I'm gonna buy the armor instead. Definitely with play. Uh, okay, so I didn't get the map because the cell creep is at the end of the floor after the elevator. Alright, so what do I want to use for the boss? RC rocket's like a little bit of a waste. I should actually just genuinely stick to the laser lotus. Probably a, a wallmonger. Oh, you know what? My friends will probably do this all for me. Like, <laughs> straight up. They're right on point with the DPS cap, pretty much. else. 
Um, never streaking in Isaac. That's not like actually fun and interesting. Gungeon's just like a, a good streak game. Isaac is not. Okay, buddy. Thank you. He had a map the whole time. Uh, he still asked me for one. Thanks for finding a map. Here's a map of the entire, the entire place. <laughs> Ooh. back for later. My damage can still go on and on. Junk. Do I really need a key and a shot? Why not? Definitely not trading damage for armor, though. I don't really need it that bad. Mind, uh, neither of those probably adds a ton to my damage from Unity, I guess, but I wouldn't mind them. Gungeon is just like, Gungeon is a game where they put effort into design and balance. And Isaac is a game where they didn't really do that. There, you can definitely streak in Isaac. I mean, you, know, you can get as many wins in a row. Like, if you play it in a way to win, you can keep winning forever. Will it be a fun experience? Not all the time. Can you do it, though? No question. Oh, wait, I actually want that. Thank you, base blue chests.
Don't really need bug boots. Strafe gun's a little expensive. Probably buy the glaive, I guess. Just gonna take it. Yes, my metronome is at the cap. Oh yeah, I have a sponge so I can I can understand the alien. I buy the glaive too. Or I can buy frost bullets, then I'm less likely to get hit. I think I'll do that. Let's just hope the boss is jammed. Boss is not jammed. My turtle friend's damage is respectable. Just since the boss isn't jammed, I add to it. Instead of not really adding. That was still a really quick first phase. Not sure if I'm gonna one cycle. We'll see. I love how their shots go for me, for my cursor. Easy one cycle. Grab the ammo pickup. Good to go. I'm pretty glad we got to use the Laser Lotus so much this run. Like, it's a nice gun. No, Gungeon doesn't keep track of the streak. Blueprint. I like how this is like off of the dead end room. Classic. Well, I mean, the laser lotus synergy actually looks like a laser lotus, you know? No, Dragon was not jammed. But my friends can do every phrase of the Lich that is jammed on their own. I believe in them. me getting hit. 
Oh, the room didn't have like extra waves. Cool. So that is the longest hallway and that's the correct direction. Longest hallway really says something I'm, I'm thinking. No, no, no weapon jams enemies, but if you get a gun mimic, uh, its bullets jam enemy bullets that it passes, that the bullets pass through. That's the closest you get to something that jams enemies instead of unjamming them. And of course there's the synergy with the glaive that uh, unjams enemies. So there are, two, there are two things that unjam enemies, but nothing that jams enemies. Good timing on the ammo. I've only gotten a Mimic Gun like two or three times. It's not very common. It sucks though. <laughs> like, mimic Gun is bad times. is. Picks up metronome says the goal is to never get hit, hit again, never gets hit again. Jammed. Is this one? Nope. I was gonna get hit there, actually. How did I get Cultus Beast skin? The same... Uh, you must not have been here. Oh, there we go. I don't have to fight this one. Look how much damage they do. This is disgusting. Uh, I did co-op by myself. Same for the alternate gun skin. I just did co-op by myself. I uh, plugged in a controller. Oh, very close. All right, didn't get hit a single time after picking up Metronome on the fourth floor. Pretty good. Uh, anyway, I plugged in a controller, and it turned out that both characters synced up. So I was controlling both characters at the same time with the controller, and I just did the whole run like that. Note that the characters have different speeds, so it was very awkward and they desynced a lot. Shout, shoot. 